Hello everyone, Alfred Monty here with kind of a special event going on right now. Pow World uh, is currently on early access and I thought I would check it out. So let's just get world started here. It is a multiplayer game, but we're just going to do a single player world. Uh, we're on day 15 of this world, but we're going to go ahead and start something new. Let's see, we're gonna call this one Alfred Monty uh, YouTube, why not? Alright, and then burn. And we got a multiplayer off ramp, we change that. We have uh, just difficulty set to normal, so I could just show you guys what this game is about. I'll have our character name be Alfred Monty, that is fine. So yes, uh, Alfred Mont, uh, so Alfred Monty here. Go ahead and create a character. The so Pal World is similar to Ark mixed with Pokemon, from my understanding. So let's go ahead and pick some the presets here, and I'll zoom to the end whenever I get done making my character. All right, so I think I have my character made. So. Let's go ahead and start everything up. All right, here we are. We are in our world. Let's talk to this traveler here. Been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damned pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You'll need to toughen up if you want to survive out here. And they gave us 10 wood. Very nice of you. Alright, so... We need to go ahead and try and get set up with the base as soon as we can. Okay, so let's see what we can do. We're going to need to make a basic workbench. Let's see. Here's the map of all the various islands that are available. And then there's... Uh, our first fast travel point, Plateau of Beginnings. So I'd like to make the fast travel point probably like in between the fast travel area. So down there, that looks pretty good to me for at least attempting to start a base. I'll check it in a second. It looks like for picking stuff up, I leveled up to level two. But first, we're gonna need to make a trademark of these base builders, workbench. We're gonna need stone in order to make stone pickaxe a stone axe. We can make a club right now. First weapon, all right. And if you guys have also been playing this game, feel free to leave some tips in the comments down below. Oh, I would very much appreciate that. Good. Best in some technology. We definitely want Pal Sphere, definitely want a Pal Box, Campfire, definitely want chest. I'm pretty much want everything there as far as I can tell. Let's go ahead and go through the tutorial, shall we? So it wants us to look at the survival guide here. So you can see everything you need to know about the game for the most part is here. Uh, if something else does come up, I will talk to you guys about it. The survival guide, it wants us to craft a pal spear. How many can I make? I can make two. So let's go ahead, make two pal spears. And go ahead, capture our first pal of the run. Alright, so we just got beat up a little bit. Now, we got our first pal a land ball what? there he is 
There she is, sorry. Look how cute. Grab one over here. Yeah, I don't want this land ball to die necessarily. Because I would like to capture a few of them. Hey! So now, I need to access the power box. Which means I need one more stone. Here we go. Uh, everything in this radius is our base. Okay. So now we can assign a pal to the base so they can help us do work. Alright, great. Down. We'll put points. Let's capture five land balls. Means we're gonna need a lot more palladium. Or palladium, I should say. So various mobs have unique behaviors. Some of them get angry on sight, some of them uh, tend to get a little curious whenever they're near you. Other ones just run away on sight. The pals that do work uh, within the base have a stat called Sanity. So if their Sanity does go down way too much, uh, that could punish us long term because if they're not sane, that means that they won't be working as efficiently or even at all. Depending on the pound. So looks like we can start producing house spheres. And look, our land ball is coming over to help us craft. How oh, nice of her. Hey. 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 Thank you for working. Okay. And now, can we build a Winchester right now? Stone, that is alright. Let's beat some land balls. Looks like we completed the land ball tutorial. We just need to keep capturing pals and make sure that we're leveling up our base. Alright, so we just need to get our base to level 7, which means we have to level up to level 7. As well as follow the requirements of the base. We can see my character is over encumbered by the red bar in the center of the screen. So... Should be big at chest pretty quickly here. Oh, great. So now what we could do is store various essential stuff within base. If we do that, everything will just get stored at this chest, so nothing to worry about. Uh, don't have to worry about being over encumbered. I'll actually leave the gold here as well. Now, finally, we need to build a shoddy bed, I believe. Do it in this little corner here. Yeah. Great. the upgrade available let's go ahead and do it so now we need a feed box and straw pal bed all right there's our first bed and we've queued up a bunch of beds around here as well so we're gonna go ahead and let our land ball handle that what else do we need for the upgrade oh it looks like we do need three you also need a Feed box to all of the pals. So we'll put it in a centralized region here. Because if the pals can't get their food easily, then they get angry and we don't want that. I would like a chickpea. That should be good. We'll take this one. Yeah. 
And I believe I have one more cowball. I do. Go over here, chickpea. Great. So you do get whenever you capture these pals a uh, first time experience bonus as well as a 10 time experience bonus whenever you capture 10 or more i believe See? and also pals have passive skills which allow them to do things quicker in this case we have a land ball that's artisan so its work speed is plus 50 which is amazing actually so go ahead and lay them out. Hey, right. so we also have one that's a logging foreman. Do they do any lumber work? It doesn't look like they do. So it looks like that doesn't matter. But increase the player logging efficiency. Oh wait, so it does matter. So in that case, I'll keep you in my party for a little bit at least. I also have diet lover as well. The campfire could pretty much be anywhere. We can keep the food stuff more centralized. That should be okay. But for this game, you don't want to put things too close together. Otherwise, the menu options can kind of overlap. So what we'll do, we'll keep it slightly spaced out. There's our fire. We have some unused stat points. We have two unused stat points. I've been lacking a little bit. So we'll do work speed and stamina. Oh, berry seeds. Looks like I'm freezing because I do not have any clothing. That's alright. We'll just go to bed and deal with that in the morning. Rise and shine. So again, let's do build a berry plantation. Which we just need 10 more wood for. So that is simple enough. Then we'll build a second one because we're gonna need it in the future anyway. So I would like to build a ranch because that'll give us a lot of food. A berry plantation, or pallet base, campfire made. Great. Pal gear workbench, statue of power, statue of power, you may not have unlocked yet. We don't need to be level 6, so that gives us an excuse to catch more pals. Alright. Looks like we have a Kativa. We're probably just going to go for another land ball, because if we get the experience bonus, we're capturing... Ton of them. Then we need to capture four more land balls. Looks like there's a night wing over there, we gotta watch out for that. Also, you need to watch out for something that I call Phantom Balls. Where, for some reason, whenever you throw a ball... Oh, it's okay, that's a Mamorest. We're gonna leave that alone for a while. And we should capture one of these uh, Kativas. Out of stamina. Oh. And we get our first time capture bonus with the uh, Ativa. Oh, run! Podium and a stone. So I can place this pretty much where we're sort of place it closer to the area, I think. 
Uh, here is fine. To level eight, almost there, and done. So in my time with this game, it looks like, at least compared to crafting and all of that, just straight up like attacking pals for experience seems to be very inefficient. You're gonna want to go for yep. uh, actually capturing pals, generally speaking, and leveling up your bases. At least in my experience. And since we do have mining going on, we could do... It's just passive platinum. Aw. Hmm. We have a scouting party? All the way up above, what the heck? I got a syndicate thugs. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're doing okay. This first low raid here. Yeah. Like we have succeeded, okay. Definitely make a common shield at least while I'm waiting to make actual armor. Alright. So there's a Gumas over there. Um Chickpeas. Let's talk to the Islander and then check out that Gumas. Or maybe we'll head into this little church here. Your new face, don't tell me. An outsider? Not that it matters to me. Now that you're on the island, why not try and catch some pals? You can get extra XP for capturing up to 10 of the same kind, you know. You know what they say, pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Here, take this. I've got high hopes for you. Hey, some free fragments. All right, great, thank you. Yeah. Huh? Oh, I should have captured that, but oh well. The Gumas over here. Hey, let's see what's there's mountain pass. I think I see on the top of the mountain there. Looks like another light monk effigy. And there's a giant tower. Looks like we're right next to the tower. There's a cave here. We're also level 9. Now a lot's happening at once. Oh, you. Looks like level 13 dungeon. That's cool. Okay. So we'll definitely be doing that soon. If we got it. Alright, so let's get back to our base. So that we can go to bed. Focus on work tasks. Daydream. How many pal how many pal do you have a pal spheres? I have at three. Alright. So what we'll do is I'll try and grab a daydream, I think. Daydream. Yes. Look at that Hoopities too. 
And get the base, otherwise we're gonna freeze to death. Hey. Hey, so we got two new nighttime pals, okay. And then I just need to get two more pals. I complete that tutorial mission. Yeah. Another day dream. Oh, out of the bar, thanks. Five percent. Four. There we go. There's a tutorial mission there. Forty eight. Benny, hundred fifty eight more. So capture two more. Definitely be on the realm of possibility. One more for sure, okay. Yeah. Doesn't really matter what it is. Let's just max. Uh, save a little bit of time. Now we need to build a primitive forest in a hot spring. I think we could end it off here. So if you guys enjoyed this content and you enjoyed uh, seeing Pal World, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, if you just want to see uh, any of my generic content, also feel free to like, hit the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.